Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm playing some Call of Duty 4 on PC, which is absolutely the most hectic thing ever. There is literally 50 people on a server, and it's just death. Little red dots on the radar everywhere. Overall, it's a lot of fun, but it gets pretty ridiculous. Uh, this is just going to be a couple of clips, or not actually, it's going to be a continuous clip, but uh, a part of a match, just because matches last 20 minutes. And I wanted to quickly talk about Modern Warfare 3, because... Uh, I just I just wanted to get this off my chest, maybe, and that is, uh, with Modern Warfare 3 coming out, and the small amount of information that we have uh, been given, and the videos that we have seen, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm curious to see what Call of Duty, it, the series, is going to bring to the table to push the genre, the first-person shooter, uh, to the next level, and to the place where I think Bad Company is, or not, I'm sorry, not Bad Company, but Battlefield 3 is really taking uh, first-person shooters in a new direction and just improving the genre in general. And I just want to know what Call of Duty is really going to bring to the table. Uh, if, you're, if you've watched anything on Battlefield 3, you'll know that they've really stepped up the graphics and they've also stepped up the game engine, so they're Frostbite 2, which is going to allow you to pretty much blow up everything and anything, and it's really going to allow you to tailor the way you play the game, and also to where you can manipulate your environment to get kills. Uh, and it's just going to be a more of a... It's not... They've, they've said that they're not going to make the game a war simulator. It's not... That's not what they're going for. They're making a game that they want to play, and a game that they're going to have fun playing. Um, but it's going to be a lot more realistic than anything we're seeing from the Call of Duty series, and especially since we've seen the trailer from uh, E3 for Modern Warfare 3, we've seen that they have really... There are scenes where there's a lot of explosions and there's a lot of things flying all over the place, such as debris, but if you... They're really not going to be having any sort of uh, destructibility. It's pretty obvious. The only thing that's going to be really destructible, in my opinion, at least from what I'm assuming, is that uh, it, as long as... It, if it's sequenced and if it's part of the story and it's going to blow up, it's going to blow up. But everything else, if you blow a rocket at a, a window or something like that, it's really, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to, the window's still going to be there, the building's still going to be there. Uh, and this is, when you watch the, the Battlefield 3 trailer and you just watch how just the destructibility is just so immense and so just, it's, you know, not pretty much inspiring. I mean, it's, it's insane. And then when you go and you watch the Modern Warfare 3 trailer where you see the dude like, shoot a rocket at a building, and the building, it's just, nothing happens to it. It's just like, ugh, just, it's kind of, just doesn't, it kind of turns me off, really. I, it, it, I really don't like to see it. I just don't really see what they're bringing to the table in terms of graphics or destructibility, which is, I think, really where the gaming genre is going to, is going to go, is destructibility, um, and just, I th that's, that's just huge right now. And I'm just glad to see that Battle Battlefield 3 is going down that route. But I wanted to get your guys' opinion. What do you think that they're going to bring to the Call of Duty series that's really going to renovate uh, the series? Because right now it's growing stale. Everyone's complaining about it. And it's just, it's the same old, same old. It's an arcade shooter, which is totally fine. And I know that they haven't really adjusted or changed. They've adjust made adjustments to their, to their, um, I can't even think of it right now, their engine. But they're really not doing anything drastic to try to... Uh, change the game in any real way. At least that's what it seems like. So it's still going to be the really fun, fast-paced thing that you would expect from a Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I'm sorry, a Modern Warfare game from an Infinity Ward, but it's not going to really be pushing the limits. From what I've seen so far, and I don't want to say that it's not going to because we really haven't had a lot of information released, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you... On, you do you think I'm just stupid and I should shut up and I'm a, a Battlefield fanboy? I am a fanboy, but I still play Call of Duty. I mean, I'm playing it right now, and I love it. It's a lot of fun, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below. I would really appreciate that. But uh, this, this about wraps up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a rating. It really helps me out, but also if you would like to see more videos from me, I recommend you check out my channel and subscribe. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.